Rolling. Rolling. All right, so what we're gonna do is, if I can find the plug, I'm gonna plug in this battery charger. It's set for a two amp trickle charge. And I'm gonna put, I think I'm just gonna run the positive through the table. And the negative goes onto here, the cathode. Looks like it's working immediately. Oh, dude. That bubbles immediately. It's working. And now what are you creating here? This is HHO. The, it's hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. This, there's an electrolysis in here that's splitting the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the water that's inside of here. Inside of there is a water and electrolyte. You can run a... You can so put this it's in got your, what plants crave. That's what, that's what plants crave. You can run a, a motor off of it. Like a generator is my plan. Or uh, you can use it. So you're just gonna create power with it? This is a start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a gas. Whoa, we got some foam coming out. What's going on? If maybe it's too full. Let's kill this here. <laughs> that was exciting. Congratulations on yeah, a successful. It now let's see if it if it will explode. Jim's been working on this for ten years. I started this project with this silly one right here. Well, yeah, that's the cool original. One. The original cell is there, right here. But one uh, of the first things Jim showed me when we met in his backyard, a few blocks from where we are now. Yeah, I tried to get it to work the other day, but it's got a broken seal in it. If, uh, well, I guess the, there's none in there, but oh, the hydrogen. Yeah, yeah I was, I I was hoping probably. that the soap bubbles would catch it, capture it. But yeah, it definitely worked. Let's pull them out of here. Yeah. I don't want to get a backfire and blow up. This. Yeah, because you don't have a backflow thing on there right now, right? No backflow arrestor. It's in the other room. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Let me try it one more time. Here we go. Round two. <laughs> I'm zooming on the bubbles this time. Let's see. Unless we're supposed to start it. Well, it's plugged onto something. I guess if it's just one side, it's probably fine. Got pretty hot. Two, one. There it goes, bubbles immediately. We have some kind of reaction happening in the bottom of the glass. The bottom of the glass. The reaction at the bottom of the glass is a tube that is expelling some kind of gas. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. That worked. That is how you do it. Oh, now it's not bubbling though. Oh, there you go. You want to do that again? Sure. So let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll get a better. I was kind of close, and you, I didn't think about you doing it, so it startled me. So, but if you do it now, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> I'm glad that you kind of hesitated. That might have been a little bit bigger than what we wanted it to be. Now my ears are ringing. Yeah, that was pretty loud. So it works. Nice work, Jim. Eureka! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! And all this stuff? Look at my dog. He's just, I what got are you guys for doing? under $20. Yeah. At Walmart. This is budget Walmart work. Here we go. Here's the interior. Here's the innards. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a steel thermos, stainless steel thermos with, this is a 97 cent whisk that comes with a tube for the handle. And I drilled a hole in the top of the thermos and stuck it through there. And then there's a gasket that goes around here that electrically uh, we insulates we the top from the bottom. Balloon. I mean, we could make a, 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 a small Zeppelin. And then at the very bottom, I stuck a piece of rubber, a rubber, uh, uh, just like a little plate on the bottom so that the the whisk didn't actually touch the bottom. Oh, and that's a... Um, a uh, Stainless steel scouring pad so that it's got lots of surface area for the reaction to happen. You're going to put this on the spider's channel, right? 
And uh, this is the cathode, which is what makes the hydrogen part. And the anode side is what makes oxygen. So the cathode pulls out the hydrogen and attracts it. And the, the uh, anode pulls out the oxygen and uh, so, so this, this is hydrogen and oxygen, which is called Brown's gas. It comes out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wonder if it'll still float or not. I'd have to look it up or something. Um, I, I think the oxygen's too heavy. Okay. I mean, it, I don't know if oxygen floats. It seems like it's neutral. Or it's probably too heavy to make a, something else float. I was thinking we could maybe try to fill up a rubber glove with it. Now you probably wouldn't pressurize it enough to make it inflate. I kind of want to, I want to, I want to make a second flashback or resting chamber before I do too many experiments with it. Yeah, I mean, you know. It, but the point was just to get a working uh, dummy model. It works. I would say it's beyond a dummy. Yeah. All right, high five.